Great news for rich white people, not great news for everyone else. The Urban Institute said in a YouTube video, though the United States is one of the wealthiest countries to many Americans, this prosperity remains out of reach. Blacks and Hispanics who are striving to make a better life for themselves and their families are not given the same asset building opportunities. As the video notes, a white person in their 30s in 1983 had an average net worth of $184,000. Today, these whites who are in their early 60s have accumulated $1.1 million in wealth. Blacks, however, only saw their wealth go from $54,000 to $161,000. Hispanic wealth has only grown from $46,000 to $226,000. All right, well, uh, you can't argue with the numbers. I'm here with white people. We are white. The worst kind of people. I'm white horrible. people. God, I hate white uh, people. Absolutely. Horrible. Look at the white way people. your wealth, you freaking white people. Yes. Uh, well, I, technically, I'm a pink person, king of the pink people. <laughs> yeah. So that's between y'all. <laughs> yeah. But I I'm, hate white people. I'm very white. white. Yeah. Scottish, Irish, I'm like of the worst. It's mm. white, white. Nasty. So if you look at those numbers, I mean, it really is kind of staggering. Like something like it, it really the, for white people, that value increased something like sixfold. For black yes. people, it was a little more than two, I oh. think. Hispanics, not great. Also, so, you know, everyone wants to say we're post racial. It seems like we've had a major slide back into racial stuff in the last two years. Oh uh, where, where are we with the racial thing and economics in America? Uh, right depressed. Now? Yeah. It's just, it's depressing. I saw that and I was just depressed. And I thought, I, I'm a white person and I don't know what the hell to do about it. I don't, I, 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 I and it's just going to get worse. They want to yeah. dismantle our social security, every little safety net in this culture. So any, any support that these communities have, uh, they, they want to wipe out. They, they're not interested in helping, the, you know, the, the Republicans and the, the power elite are just yeah. not interested in, in creating an, you know, a, 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 a society and an economy where everyone really gets to prosper. Right. So I think the Republicans would argue they want everyone to have this even playing field. And if there was an even playing field, as there but should be, I don't know what that means but, really, but that's what they would say. But then when you, even. but when you look at, right. So does this really, what you're seeing here really is just how systemic racist or racism or racially oh, related stuff is in the system, that it's just in, in the system. It's ingrained. Look, I mean, uh, the Supreme Court yesterday handed down the decision. They would not hear the Wisconsin voter, totally racist, biased Wisconsin voter ID law. So it stands. So now, if you don't have a state government-issued driver's license or a form of state-issued government ID, you can't vote yeah. in Wisconsin. Right. And, you know, math still is math. I mean, it was math when I woke up this morning. It was science. So how does it affect... Who does it affect? It, aff it affects people of color at like a 10 to one because it's an extra expense. And if I lose my license, like I don't want to go and spend, spend 26 bucks that I would spend on food to get another license. Uh, and they just make it harder for people of color to vote. And, 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 and the thing is also, you know, this is also about, obviously this is a racial issue here, but we're also talking about just the general working poor. Right. There, there's no way out of this stuff. Right, the general disparity is but, just but the yes, there's, one, yeah. there's one level there's worse. There's no asset building in this country. Look you know, at the last people. presidential election. Let's go back to math for one second. Obama won by 200, and, you know, there'll be comments about this, 226,000 votes. They estimate that 9% of Wisconsinians Wisconsin, sure. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, whatever they are, nine percent, which is about three hundred fifty thousand, don't have this ID. Right there, it is. Obama right doesn't win Wisconsin. Right. So everything is motivated. It's a chipping away. They say one thing about a level playing field, and then they do everything they can to just never do anything like that and hurt people of color, which is why I hate white people. I mean, yeah. I absolutely <laughs> cannot stand white people. So three hundred fifty thousand people don't vote. Obama, you do that state by state. There are seven other states that have this now. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how they will gerrymandering and that is how they will take the White House. It's how they'll keep the Senate. So when we talked earlier in the earlier segments about, well, you know, the right, and we just have to kind of get motivated off them, I say they're so dangerous. This kind of stuff, if you're not motivated before the election, that's why we don't win the midterms, you're gonna yeah. watch all, everything, that you, to your great point, all the social services that are barely there now are gonna go away because yep. they're rigging the game. Yep. So uh, last thought. Sorry, is, is sorry, there, America. Is there, no, is there America. anything that Obama can do? Because I think if you would have asked the average person, I voted for him twice, if you would have asked the average person, will race relations and some of this systemic stuff and the right. economic stuff, will it be better by the time he leaves? He's only got about 22 some odd months left. It doesn't look like things are going to be better, either economically or just uh, in terms of racial tension no, by the time he leaves. Is there anything he can do? No, because the owners of this country 
own everything, and they've got the power. Whether it's you know it's Wall Street. But isn't he one of the owners now? I mean, I know yeah, we're talking of, about some of, high level of, stuff of that course, your dad would. Of course would, he yeah. is. Of course he is. I mean, you know, I mean. I look at my, my I, I'm not a person who makes a ton of money, but I'm way up in that 10 percentile, 15 percent. I don't know. It's insane to think about yeah. that. Um, but the people who really own all of the power and have all the cash in this country, uh, they're not interested in changing the system. Yeah. And you know, there's a few of them that are, and, and bless them for that. But uh, they've got all the power. You know, yeah. The money is the power right now, and it's been going this way for the last 30 years. Since well, since Reagan, I mean, especially yeah. when the neocons re really started plotting all of this 30 years ago, they've done a great job, and it was a great country. And I really don't know if it ever will be uh, again. Yeah, I'm for roadside well, sterilization of white people. And I think if you're <laughs> if you're a person of any any Ouch. racial hue, any roadside, racial hue, roadside, 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 you know, because it could be like you know, you get your oil change and then snip, snip. So, and a burger. You know, and if you're of, uh, of any racial, just start having more babies. Because the only way you're going to change this is to have such an electorate of color that can But that's that coming vote. soon here in California. We will be the Roadside minority. sterilizations? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a feeling the commenters are going to have a field day with Chad. By the way, his uh, Twitter is at <laughs> Chad underscore Einbinder. I think I got that right. Let and what this whole begin. segment reminds me of is the great quote from Kelly's father, the legendary George Carlin, which is, they call it the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it.